Good morning everyone, welcome back to my allotment diaries and to my summer 2022 allotment plot recap. So we start in May and in classic Emma style it started with a bit of a disaster and the disaster came in the form of my dying pumpkin plants. This is my Jacoby Little, um, I don't know if you can see this properly but he has snapped. And then this one here, please don't say you've snapped too. Oh jeez Louise man, he's snapped as well, can't believe it. Absolutely devastating. Um, this was my absolute nightmare and it's happened. Absolutely gutted. With the pumpkin archway already under attack, there was only one thing for me to do. Sew a whole new bunch of pumpkins and start again. I really hope they live. I'm just going to whack them in and hope for the best. I can only protect them as best as I can, so we'll just keep going, I think. Oh, come on. Bloody slugs, right? Bloody slugs. I hate them. I literally hate them. I feel like the plot was already teaching me my first lesson of the summer. Nice thick layer of strokes this time. Protection, protection, protection. Right, just like decorating a Christmas tree. Come on, Harry. This is your moment. This is what you were made for. Scare those birds away, all right? Hopefully this is enough to keep the slugs and snails away, but we won't know until we know. And that's it, really. So this is, this is as much as I can do putting the pumpkins out. Good luck, Harry. Good luck. As we ventured deeper and deeper into the month of May, I was amazed at the amount of harvest that I was getting from my allotment plot at such an early time of year. This has honestly never happened before. The broad beans have sort of exploded and I'm actually starting to get broad beans on them which is really exciting because I've never had, I've never been able to harvest broad beans before. Broad beans, actual broad beans, I was going to say actual human broad beans but that wouldn't be very nice. Look at these! and broad beans weren't the only thing doing well. Just wanted to come down here and talk about my peas for a minute. This has just been a massive, massive success. I've got loads of them and I'm so happy. And my new polytunnel was pulling its weight too. Yes, come on. They're alive, they're alive, they're alive, nothing's died. It was all about the tomatoes. They are so massive and I can see even more flowers. But of course, not everything I harvested was perfect. Oh, 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 I think I got one. I think I got one. That. Oh no. That time they've been growing, I'll bloody eat anything right now. He's a good one. This is what people do, I've seen them do it on Instagram. They leave them lying on the bed like that to dry out in the sun. So I'm gonna do that, because I'm gonna come back tomorrow anyway. I think they look like I know what I'm doing. That looks quite impressive, doesn't it? I'm happy with that. I'm not holding out as much hope for the garlic, because I just don't feel it. Oh, that's a good one. It's little, but it's good. Most of them look like this. They've got like this white stuff on. Is that means that it's gone rotted? rotted or something. This one hasn't got it. This one looks good, but it's so bleeding tiny. It's teeny tiny garlic, but it's my teeny tiny garlic. It smells like garlic. So I've grown something that vaguely resembles garlic, which is a half success, I'd say. And I've got a teeny tiny one that looks possibly edible. Possibly edible, we'll take that today, I think. It really looks like I know what I'm doing. If they just don't get too close, they won't see it's all rotted and like covered in insects. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? Chuffed with that. With May already looking so successful, it was hard to think that anything was going to stand in my way this year. I'm a bit of a plant killer sometimes, I can be a bit ruthless. And that included those pesky little bugs. Obviously, I don't want any more crops to be eaten by bugs. <laughs> I think the conclusion is I don't know. <laughs> is there a garlic worm as well? I don't know. Better not be a garlic worm. Oh my god, I really can't get them in. Can't get them in. Oh, 
we'll just crush them all now. We won't even give them a chance. We'll just crush them with cloche. I've got nothing, nothing's working. Normally it doesn't get to me, but I think with the pumpkin thing and now this, it's just got on top of me and I just feel peed off. I'm having to use a broken bloody spade again. My netting's got holes in. A boost of morale, I think that's what I need right now. A boost. Or some wine. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my allotment diaries. Potatoes are coming up because they've all flopped over and um, I just think they're ready to come up now so I'm going to whack them all up um, and we'll see what we get which in itself is massively exciting. Harvesting these potatoes was exactly what I needed after the attack of the bugs. Lovely, oh bud, if I don't drop it and bruise it. <laughs> you just feel so happy, you're just like you found a gold nugget or something. So many and some of them are really, really big. So feeling on a high, I did exactly what I do best and started whacking everything I could into my allotment plot in the hope that something would grow. Harry's taking a nap. I don't know what Harry thinks he's doing. Come on, Harry, mate. This is not scary enough, is it? You've got to like, prop yourself up a bit, mate. Oh, God. Looks a bit scarier like that, actually. That's a good job, Harry. With Harry on guard, my pumpkin was growing up the arch. Things were going great. Well, soaring temperatures are still hitting most of Europe. There are wildfires in Portugal and Spain, and a warning from the World Meteorological Centre of an increase in pollution as well. In the past hour or so, we've had the UK Met Office issuing its first ever red warning for extreme heat. And then came the heat wave. Well, where it's going today is not great because we've had quite a major heat wave in the UK um, but I think the sun has just got to them. I hope they sort of bounce back a bit because they have still got some green in them. This one's sort of got a bit scorched but he's still got green on him, he might come back. Not everything was killed off though. That's a bit of a tomato glut, isn't it? Oh my goodness! I've never seen so many tomatoes on a single plant. Wow, it's like a jungle in here. Oh my goodness, look at all these tomatoes! See, it turns out I didn't even need a polytunnel this year. Thanks to the heat waves, the tomatoes were absolutely thriving. I have never picked so many tomatoes in my life and they are all delicious. And they weren't the only crops thriving. Oh my goodness! Look at that! I think that is a turnip. That is an actual living turnip. And there's another little one there. Oh my goodness! I've actually grown a turnip. You've been okay. Oh good. One of my other um, sort of surprise successes of the year, and I say surprising because I didn't expect it to grow, I thought it would all just perish and die, um, is my sweet corn. Um, I say all, oh, I had 13, I've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, seven out of 13, but had I known it would grow, I probably would have brought some more, some more seeds. But yeah, it, it's surprising but happy surprising. See, there we go, easy, that worked quite well. But we get up and start from the ground. And I... July turned into one of those typical allotment months where you feel like you're doing the same jobs on repeat. Weeding, watering, weeding, watering, weeding, watering. With a few surprises thrown in. Ow! What the hell are they? Ow! Oh, look at them. They're popping like popcorn. 
It's like little flies in here and they're like popping like popcorn. I can hear them snapping and then they're like pinging themselves at my face. Ah! Exploding flies, does that happen? I don't know. Oh God, it's really, is it, is it seed heads popping? I think it's seed heads popping, literally exploding in my face. I'm genuinely fascinated because I really am. I've never seen seeds do that before. It's like popcorn. And the thing is, is you can hear them. You can hear them popping. So I absolutely cannot be at this allotment plot today and not talk about this bed. This was the bed that I whacked it all out in, literally just whacked it out in the ground, watered it, and then said that would be dead in a week. Have you ever seen a bed thriving more, especially at my allotment plot? This is insane. I've literally grown a lettuce the size of my head. It tastes so good. Absolutely determined, isn't it? Absolutely determined. Bugger off. Absolutely, I mean, here's me standing. It's massive, it's huge. By August, the plot was feeling alive again. I was back on top of it, planting, whacking stuff in, sowing new seeds ready for the autumn winter and feeling good. another pretty major success my tomato jungle which is just absolutely flourishing they're just beautiful aren't they just lovely lovely plants I can't believe how well they've done and I'm gonna pick some today Goody. <laughs> oh I hate it when the bees get trapped in there there's a phrase that I hear in gardening over and over again there's always next year. I don't think that phrase has ever rung as true as it has this year for me. So much died, so much struggled and we had so many problems with the weather and pests and slugs and snails and birds. But it's true, there is always next year. My plot has always been so much more than just a vegetable garden to me. It's been my sanctuary, my space, the place that I can disappear to. And for that, it's been a massive success. I feel really positive about the plot now. Um, a few weeks ago, I was being really, really down about it because um, I sort of left it for a couple of weeks and it became overgrown and it just felt like everything was dying and just looked awful. I know that a lot of you said um, in my last vlog that you are getting really disheartened with your plots right now. I really hope that you do hang in there because I feel the same every single year. It's amazing how just a couple of hours work on the allotment and just getting things, the weeds down and everything could just really change your perspective on it. Keep plodding along, keep trying to make sense of it all and make some kind of structure out of this complete chaos. <laughs> I hope these vlogs inspire you to get out there and get growing. Grow something, grow anything, grow some lettuce on your balcony, anything at all. And if you don't get a pumpkin arch, you don't get a pumpkin arch, stuff it. Try again next year. Do you know what I mean? It's not the end of the world, so onwards and upwards hope you enjoyed the vlog so i will be down here every day checking on my pumpkins making sure those pesky birds and slugs have not got their hands on them yet um and i'll see you in my next vlog guys i hope you've enjoyed the vlog today see you next time thanks for watching